This video will cover how to render a scene with edge lines turned on. I will go over how to enable edge lines for use in a rendering. I will also go over how to change a couple of settings and review the final results. So I just quickly wanted to go over a feature of iRender Next that I don't think any other rendering software out there has the ability to do. So here's a great model that I think will illustrate how useful rendering a scene with edge lines can be. First, here's what the scene looks like rendered as is. iRender Next does a great job at rendering this scene. But these cabinets just look a little flat, right? The trim work and details just aren't popping off the screen as much as I'd like. And that's because we aren't able to see a lot of the fine detail in these cabinets. But lucky for us, iRender Next has a way to bring back many of these details. So to enable edge lines, go up to the iRender Next toolbar and click on iRender Options. And then click on the Special tab. And then right here are the settings for edge lines. Now there's a couple of different options here. The first being the default of no edge lines. The second is all edges. The third is orphan lines. Uh, that's like a just a single line, like say a twig on a plant. And then lastly, all with material set, which means if you apply a material to a group of edges, only those edges will be rendered. And then over here is how you change the width or the thickness of the lines. So in my case, I'm going to go with one pixel because there's a fair amount of detail on these cabinets. And if the lines are too thick, we'll just lose that detail. So in my case, I'm going to select all edges and then I can simply click render from down here and uh, we'll see the result. All right, and here it is. I think it looks pretty good. Now let me show you the two renderings side by side. Notice how the highlights, reflections, and shadows are not affected. As you can see, now with edge lines turned on, the details on the cabinets and on the oven and even on this tile work up here stand out much more than they did in the first rendering. So uh, play around with this unique feature to get just the look you want. Thanks for watching. Come check us out again soon.